Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Kraken Cryptocurrency Exchange app. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might want to go into cryptocurrency and your choice here is going to be uh, Kraken crypto. It's cryptocurrency, which in this case, you're trying to learn this. So how do we actually start using it? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to download the actual app from Google Play Store if you're using Android. In this case, go ahead and open up Google Play Store here, look for Kraken and install the Buy Bitcoin and Crypto app here for Kraken. Now, once you've installed that, let's go ahead and click on open. Now, once you've opened that up, we need to create an account. So in this case, go ahead and click on the create account button there. And from here, we need to enter our email. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter our email. And from here on, just click on continue. Now it's going to ask you to enter your password. So this password should be 12 characters, at least one number, one special character, and one letter. In this case, let's go ahead and create our password here and click on continue. Now, on the next page, go ahead and choose your country of residence, which in this case, I'm going to choose Philippines. Now, in this case, in this section, make sure to choose the correct country here because there are going to be some verification that you might need to do here so that you'll be able to start using your account fully for Kraken cryptocurrency. In this case, once you've chosen that, just click on create account. And from here, that should create your account. And now we need to actually paste the uh, following link that was sent on your following email address. So in this case, let's go ahead and open up our email address or our Gmail here. Now, in this case, you should receive an email from Kraken themselves, which in this case, you should be able to see this email here that says you're in good company and just says, welcome to Kraken. In this case, just scroll down a bit here and you could actually use the activate button here to activate your account, or you could use the activation code that you see here on your screen. Now, in this case, once you've entered the code on your screen or use the activate button here to activate your account, you should now be able to access the main menu of your Kraken account. Which in this case, I already have an account here. Let's go ahead and log in into my account and start navigating inside the Kraken app. Now, in this case, once you've signed in, this is the first thing that you'll see on your account. Now, in the homepage here, for you to actually uh, fully use a uh, uh, a uh, Kraken uh, cryptocurrency exchange app here, we first need to verify ourselves. So you could actually do this via the homepage here. They should have a section here that says verify identity. So in this case, go ahead and click on it and just provide all the necessary details here. Well, let's go ahead and click on verify identity. And from here, first you need to provide your mobile number, your address, and some uh, specifications or some details regarding yourself. Like for example, you need to uh, maybe take a photo of your ID, provide a live video of yourself within the app itself, so that they'll be very they'll be able to verify that you're actually alive and you're actually the one who are using that specific uh, account here. So in this case, go ahead and provide those details, and from here on, you should be good. So they also need to provide the occupation, some legal name here. So yeah, you can go ahead and click on resume here and just provide all those details. Now, in this case, in the homepage here, you have the option to actually explore and see all the cryptocurrency that you have right now, which in this case, you could also add a cryptocurrency into your watch list. Like your watch list here actually contains a cryptocurrency that you want to really watch, like from the name itself, watch list. So basically, you'll be able to uh, see how they actually move real time once they are actually in the watch list here. So for example, let's go to the explore tab or section here first. So the most popular tab here actually indicates the most popular uh, type or the most popular cryptocurrency right now. So the number one here is going to be Bitcoin, which is at priced around $62,537 right now. So we also have Ethereum, Solana, Ripple, and yeah, a lot more here. Now, in this case, we also have the Gainers tab. Now the Gainers tab actually contains information or uh, the uh, following cryptocurrencies that are gaining a lot of value right now. So if you want to, maybe for example, you have like GeoBoden or Layer Zero uh, right now on your account, this is where you'll be able to actually see that they're actually doing doing good right now and you might want to consider actually selling. So this is just a consider consideration if you want to start selling on it. But yeah, so the losers actually are the ones that are losing a lot right now. Like for example, for the Enzo Finance here or Rari Bull, uh, they are actually losing like around 10% or 10.64% of their value right now. So you might want to consider actually buying them or buying. So yeah, 
In this case, let's go ahead and click on variable here. So you should be able to see the current uh, trend right now. So in this case, it's actually doing a pretty low right now. As you can see, it's actually doing pretty good around yesterday. But right now, it's uh, doing good, but it's trying to recover itself right now uh, with its value. So you should also be able to see the stats for this cryptocurrency. So you have market rank, market cap, 24 hours vo hour volume here. Uh, and yeah, so you also have description here if you want to learn more about this specific uh, crypto. Now, if you want to buy this specific crypto, you can go and click on buy here. But first, you need to verify yourself in order for you to actually buy crypto. Because then again, uh, cryptocurrency exchanges... Um, yeah, so mostly cryptocurrency exchange right now actually requires you to verify yourself. So yeah, this is an integral process here. So go ahead and verify yourself first. But once you verify yourself, you should be able to actually uh, buy your first cryptocurrency. Now also at the top, right, you have the star icon. So whenever you're visiting one of the cryptocurrency here, like for example, I'm going to go to most popular here. I want to go to Bitcoin. And whenever I click on the star here, it's going to actually add that into my watch list. So when I go back into my homepage here, I should now be able to see uh, Bitcoin one in my watch list here. And as you can see right now, I could immediately see how Bitcoin is doing right now. So currently there's a downtrend for it, like it's losing 0.18% of its value. So yeah. I also have explore tab here, which actually pretty much just uh, the same thing that we saw before. The only difference here is they actually give you uh, more information about in the section here. Like for example, the stable coin section here, you have the newly listed here. So newly released uh, coins on this uh, exchange. So stable coin, if you're not aware yet, uh, these are actually coins that are actually quite close to its value on the US dollar. So, for example, uh, usually a stable coins is uh, quite uh, close to US dollar. So basically, uh, $0.99, so one USD or one tether or USDT here is equal to $0.99. That's quite close to uh, US dollars here, which in this case is an integral coin here. It is a basis for, uh, for trading just so that we could uh, get, basically get a semblance of familiarity and we know the, uh, how much uh, something actually worth. So it is a reference coin or stable coin here that we actually need. Now, portfolio here would actually contain how you're doing right now. So it mostly contains analytics, how you're doing, how you're trading right now, how much you're losing on your account, and whatnot. Now, you could also view your transactions here if you want to, if you click on view transactions, or by clicking on the clock icon at the top right here, you should be able to see your transactions. But then again, since my account is fairly new here, it's not going to have any transactions yet. Now, when you go to account here, you have the option to view your account details, like your public account ID, your email address, and whatnot, and how uh, how long have you been a member, and your username as well. Now, you also have support center here, so just in case you have any problems uh, using the app, or if you're having problems uh, with the app in general. So you could ask for assistance here, like chatting with them, or even search for articles here if you don't want to uh, basically talk to them. Uh, if that's hassle for you and want to do or explore things yourself, you could use the article section here. Now, you also have the option to change your currency here. Like for example, by default, it's going to be US dollar, but if you're in Europe, you could use Euro. You even change the language itself. So if you're uh, more comfortable in Espanol or Fr uh, French or Italiano or Netherlands or Portuguese, you can change that. And also, you could also change the team here. So you can choose from light and dark or automatic. So depending on your current team, you sh uh, the app itself will adapt. So since I'm using the light team, it's obviously it's going to be the light team here. Now, if you want to receive notifications, you could enable the push notification option here. And also, you have the devices section, devices section here, which in this case actually gives you the, uh, some idea on uh, what are the devices that you have right now. And yeah, so you also have security here, which actually allows you to further improve the security of your account. So you have like, for example, we have two-factor dedication here, like pass keys or dedicator app. So it is required or it is suggested that you actually uh, use pass keys for your, um, for your account here because most likely uh, your uh, account uh, might get hacked. So uh, yeah, so it is required or it, it is suggested that you use pass keys or dedicated apps. Uh, so just in this case, just click on it and just click on add a dedicated app here. And just follow the on-screen steps here. And from then on, you should be able to actually um, add or further increase the security of your account, which in this case, it's really important, especially if you're handling a lot of uh, crypto in your account or in your wallet here. 
But yeah, so those are the basics on how to use uh, Kraken cryptocurrency exchange here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.